Brethren, these ceremonies are not without a proper significance. They are not simply to pass away an idle hour. Their purpose is to impart a solemn and instructive lesson. This temple, now dedicated to Masonic usage, conveys the idea of wisdom, strength, and beauty. It is consecrated in the name of the great Jehovah, teaching us again that in all our work, begun and finished, we should acknowledge and magnify his holy name. The altar of masonry must ever be the shrine of our sincere devotion. May the eye that seeth in secret witness here that devout piety, which seeks the world of silence, that its worship may be free of cant and ostentation. Our march thrice around the lodge reminds us of the journey of life, the path of which masonry in its practical application brightens and makes secure. Our step is the mark of time, our guide the invisible hand, our destiny eternity. These ceremonies of dedication are in harmony with the spirit and teachings of the craft to which our allegiance is always due, in whose success we rejoice in whose recorded history is but a glorious page in the development and uplift of mankind. We have dedicated this temple to virtue, a sublime ideal worthy of the aspiration of every Mason, in which we are inspired by the tenets and amplified by the lectures in each degree. We have also dedicated this temple to universal benevolence. Charity is one of the noblest attributes of Freemasonry. And although our philanthropic vision must first detect the needs of a brother in distress, an institution as great as ours should always display a generous and benevolent attitude toward mankind. This event is but a milestone in the progress of our beloved order. It is another evidence in the onward march and stability of the craft, to which our, the past history of which is illustrious, and the future is rich in promise for greater glory. To the worshipful master and brethren of Alma Lodge number 244, we tender you our congratulations. May your zeal and loyalty be amply rewarded. May peace and plenty abide with you. And may every brother be animated by the spirit and teachings of Freemasonry, so that the honor, glory, and reputation of this institution will be firmly established and the world at large convinced of its good effect.